my lawn mower generator inverter setup that I made from scratch. The frame is all one inch electrical metallic tubing which I hand bent and as you can see here is spot welded throughout and this is quarter inch plate steel. The feet I made out of down here I welded this flat plate onto the tubular steel with a stainless bolt to hold this rubber bushing which they sell at an auto parts store for shocks. Goes in between your coil springs and it makes a really good footing for the generator. This thing doesn't budge besides being so heavy. The wheel setup is just a regular wheel that I welded on. Let me move around here. All right, I welded this plate onto the steel, put the rod through to the side, same thing. Now, this won't move, but as soon as you lift the handle up, then it rolls like this. See? Really good setup, and this thing doesn't budge. That's a 110 amp. I think it's a 10 SI GM alternator. That's a Pro Watt 1000 power inverter. Uh, I just put a uh, shut off here because it's very hard to start when the alternator is connected. So what I do is I leave this open and then I tighten it once it's running. And that allows the current to go through. Uh, accessory socket, 10 amp fuse. Everything's heat shrunk and soldered copper connectors fabricated all these plates riveted but the inverter is riveted on this is a deflector shield to keep the heat from the engine from blowing towards the alternator and this uh, fan on the alternator puts out a tremendous amount of uh, cooling flies right through it this is a Yard King Tecumseh 6.5 engine. Runs about four hours on a gallon. Let me see what else. And that's about it. Oh, I'll show you underneath how I did. The pulley set up. I got an adjuster between the cast iron pulley here, alternator down there, and then I got the adjuster. Very happy with how it came out. It's a great setup. One other thing. After I put this all together, the engine would start and then it would stall. It would start and it would stall. And I figured something was up with this alternator. So if you see what I did here, the negative ground on the alternator was interfering with the ignition on the, the gas engine. I also put a switch, on off switch right here to kill the engine. What was happening, and I, luckily I figured it out, so what I did is I isolated the, the negative ground, the 12 volt ground from the alternator from this steel plate which is attached to the engine by putting this material from a head gasket. There's metal in the center but the outside is this very hard material and it's non-conductive. So I put it on this side and I also put it, I don't know if you can see it, underneath. And that eliminated the problem. And that's about it. I'll start it up and I'll show you how it works.